Exercise. What are you talking about, Grandma? Why, I'm as fit as I was at 21. <coughs> Unfortunately, that's true. This whole family needs to get more exercise. Iggy and Marcy are on their way to the tennis club right now. I exercise. Picking the newspaper up off the lawn is hardly exercise. I've reserved us a court at the tennis club. But... We're going to play tennis and that's final. If Heathcliff can exercise, so can you. Drat that cat. <laughs> I just love these early morning wakeouts. And if a little exercise will keep Grandma happy, then I'm happy to do as little as I can. But that's all for today. We're moving. I'm talking to the real estate agent tomorrow. Report back here first thing tomorrow morning. Forget the real estate agent. We're moving now. <laughs> Well, uh, maybe I should go to the tennis club with him. And besides, the club serves its milk over rice. Hiya, Iggy. That's Iggy. What do you want, Muggsy? Just wanted to see how you two lovebirds are doing. Cut it out, Muggsy. Iggy and I are on our way to the tennis club. Oh, the tennis club. Tennis is a sissy game. You take that back, Muggsy Faber. Playing sissy games with a girl who pushes around a dumb baby carriage. <laughs> Hiya, spike rooney Yikes, a rooney Oh, yeah? You think you're so tough? Yeah. Let's play a game of tennis. Then we'll see who's toughest. I'm gonna pulverize ya. Unless you're too chicken to show up. Uh, did somebody mention chicken? Yeah, Mongo, you got the brain of a chicken. Jay, thanks, Hector. Of course Iggy's not chicken, you big bully. He's gonna cream ya. He's gonna eat... That's enough, Marcy. Don't make him mad. <laughs> Well, if you win, Iggy will do your chores for a week. 
Make it a mutt. Uh, wait. You got it. Iggy's gonna wipe the court with you. Oh. <laughs> yeah! You can do it, Iggy. Thanks, Heathcliff. Hey, Nutmeg, we gonna play tennis or what? Here's a sample of what I'm gonna do to you. Get ready, Grandpa. Here it comes. Go ahead, Grandma. Just try to get one past me. Come on, I'm waiting. This is gonna be a long day. Come on, Iggy, you can do it. We're all behind you all the way. Knock the ball down his throat. Murder him, Muggsy. How'd I ever get myself into this mess? Here it comes. <laughs> Uh, Jay boss I don't know. You mean like a chicken? That wasn't no foul your eyes did see. Just a flash of light and a playful breeze. Yay, Iggy! Yeah, did you see that, Hector? Did you? That was good, Hector, wasn't it? Mongo, you muttonhead. We're rooting for Muggsy. Huh? You got a split personality, Spike. <laughs> that tennis ball serving machine will teach that orange furball to mess with me. Look good to me, Hector. Are you kidding? Iggy's shot was out by a mile, you airhead. I hate to disagree, but even an idiot could see Iggy's shot was as good as can be. Uh, who you calling an idiot? Yeah, what am I doing in this fight? <laughs> uh, I guess I don't really need to know. Go for it, Iggy! <laughs> this is the last ball, Grandpa. Try to swing at it at least. How do you expect me to hit anything when you don't know the first thing about the game? What happened? Nice shot, Grandpa. Naturally. What did you expect? Uh -oh. Ouch! Tennis is my life. Wimbledon, watch out. Go, Wiggy! Yes, quick! Send out the riot squad! This is it, Nutmeg. Whoever wins this point wins the game. Not now, Heathcliff. This is game point. Huh? I did it! I won! Heathcliff, I won! Yay! Hooray for Iggy! 
I'm never playing tennis with you again. What do you mean, again? Breakfast, please. Very good, Muggsy. Thank you, sir. I hope we're not making another mistake. Yesterday's stew tasted like my shoe. It was your shoe. Yeah! Uh, here comes Mungo Special, the best thing I ever made. What a feast, huh? Here's yours, Riff Raff. Well, wish me luck. Hey, this stuff is really good. You're kidding. <laughs> I knew you guys would like it. Like it? Don't say enough about this fantastic, wonderful, incredible stuff. I can't believe you made this. It's better than any food I ever had in my life. What's in this stuff, Mongo? Uh, it's my mom's secret recipe. I can't tell you what's in it. Well, secret or not, I gotta take some of this to Cleo. It's gonna knock her crazy. Hello. Bring me a little present. It has a nice fragrance. <laughs> Not bad. Let me try some more. That was the last of it. Mungo only made enough for lunch. Well, let's just go tell him we're starved for an early supper. Hey, slow down! Wait a minute. Would you pay for some of that food? Of course I would. I've never eaten anything that good before. Do you think anybody else would? Well, not everybody is as smart as I. I'll sell the stuff. I'll open a restaurant right in the junkyard. OK, this is how it's going to be. Hector's going to be the maitre d'. Wordsworth, you're the waiter. Like I'll never be rude when I'm serving the food. Mungo will be the cook. Oh, boy. And Cleo will be the hostess. OK, what's going on here? Let me be the first to welcome you to an elegant new restaurant, Riff Raff's Junk Food. A restaurant in my junkyard? Never. You got that? There will never, never be a restaurant for cats in my junkyard. It's a good thing for them that they didn't go ahead with that stupid restaurant. What's the password? Leroy's a jerk. Boy, if Mom could see me now. Welcome, friend cat, to Riff Raff's Junk Food Restaurant, where the elite meet and eat. Over here, Jack. Your food's getting cold. Listen, if she keeps pulling the customers like that, we're gonna have a restaurant full of one-armed cats. She's just showing off. She'll settle down. It's Rodolfo Katz, the Cat Times restaurant critic. He can make this place the top cat restaurant in town. Let him in. Whoa, what's the password? Oh, give me a break. Let him in, you idiot. <clears throat> hmm. How quaint. As the owner of this new eating establishment, I welcome you. Put this somewhere, will you? 
turkey. Ahem. May I be seated, miss? As long as your legs don't bend the wrong way, why not? Oh! Right this way, Mr. Katz. We've got a special table set up just for you. Who is that rude young woman? Uh, she's a... she's a... she's a... a somebody's sister! Oh. That was the most magnificent cat food I've ever eaten in my life. You will receive five stars in my next review. Hooray! Hooray! But tell me, what is all this silly business with the password? Oh, that's for Leroy, the junkyard dog. We use the password so he can't come in and close us down. Oh. A dog? That's a serious matter. A really great restaurant should be free of such distractions. I'm sorry, but as long as the dog is a menace, I'll have to take away one of your stars. Let me know when you've solved your problem and I'll give you your star back. Don't worry, Mr. Katz. We'll take care of Leroy. Besides, he doesn't even know we're in business. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, not only does Leroy know you're in business, he knows you're going out of business. Tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to destroy your hotsy totsy little restaurant. What restaurant? What restaurant? Come on here, fellas. This is Leroy you're talking to. I'm talking about the restaurant behind that door. There's no restaurant behind that door. No restaurant, huh? So what do you call that? A door. Huh? What's going on? Another door. Lots of doors, huh? <sighs> okay, there's no restaurant. I was wrong. I'm not such a big dog that I can't admit my mistakes. Sorry, guys. They've got to be stupid to think I'm going to fall for that old trick. Just wait until tonight when the place is packed. Then they're going to get a big surprise. OK, guys, it's just as we thought. So let's go ahead with our plans for tonight. OK, it's just about time. Positions, everyone. Ready. Cats, we are pleased to announce that tonight we are adding a floor show to our venue. Hooray! They're going to be so surprised. We are proud to present Leroy the Wonder Dog. Oh, no! You're gonna get it for this riffraff. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I love you all. What a ham. I'll never get him off. Well done, well done. I'm giving you back your star. You'll be the only five-star restaurant in town. Bravo! We're a hit. Nothing can go wrong now. Hey, Mongo, are you ready with the chow? My tables want their food like now. You're almost finished. Like this food is really hot. What all goes into the pot? Uh, it's a secret. My mom taught me how to make it and what to look for. Are these cans part of the plan? Uh, yeah, they're the sacred. I don't even know what it is because I just look at the picture. I can't read too good. Mungo, your reading's real crude. You're feeding us all dog food. I am. Dog food? Dog, dog food? I can't believe it. I had it all, and now it's gone. Rodolfo Katz even took away my star. 
Hey, don't worry. It was great while it lasted. Both days. I don't know why everybody took off. This stuff is great. My compliments to the chef. If you let your cat outside, there's a real good chance you'll get fleas. Now, there's several things you can do to try and combat these little devils. Flea spray can be good, but some cats are frightened by the sound. And you should never use a spray for dogs on your cat. It may make them sick. It's all right, Mongo. Flea tags and collars are a great way of keeping those pesky fleas off of your pet. Your pet will appreciate it. 